guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of my 2020 Best in Beauty series. These are all of my most loved, most used and most favorite products throughout the entire year of 2020. Um, as you guys know, I do break these videos down into separate categories so that you guys can pick and choose which videos you want to watch and which ones you do not want to watch. So in today's video, we are doing the best setting powders of 2020 and the best powder foundations of 2020. And this year, to make things a little bit more streamlined, I have limited myself to only five products of each category, five products in each video. And I gotta tell you guys, it has not been easy. Why did I decide to do this? <laughs> so here in front of me, I have got five powders that just absolutely I have adored in 2020 and that I think truly make a difference and that I think that you should definitely consider if you are after a setting powder that really does the job. And as always guys, I will link the playlist to the rest of my favorites videos for this year in the description bar if you are interested in checking them out as well. But without further ado, let's do this. Okay, so in front of me here, I've got two setting powders and three powder foundations. I have really, really been enjoying powder foundations this year, especially because I'm having to retouch my nose so often when I'm wearing a face mask. I feel like 2020 really changed the makeup wearing habits for a lot of us. A lot of things were different and a lot of us weren't even wearing makeup. So certainly this year's 2020 uh, favorites look a little bit different. Um, I think that the first setting powder that I'm going to be showing you guys today is going to be absolutely no surprise because why would somebody make a product that was not their favorite, right? <laughs> so obviously in first position still to this day and forever going forward, our Nakia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder is still by far my most used and most loved setting powder in the history of my life. I absolutely am obsessed with this and honestly I am not ashamed to say I am just so beyond proud of how much hard work that I put into this and how perfect that it came out um, and it's truly amazing because there's like a cult following for this powder now and I honestly just get to read and watch amazing reviews every single day and it's just oh it makes me absolutely there are no words and I just cannot like it's it's a huge pinch me moment because I'm just like how is this even a thing? So this is a triple milled completely translucent setting powder that leaves a beautiful velvet texture on the skin. It looks like velvet, it, it blurs your pores, it smooths the skin, it minimizes fine lines but it also feels like velvet so you'll notice after using it your skin will feel incredibly smooth to the touch. It's just velvet all over really. Now we did triple mill this one because triple milling it is what really gives it that beautiful velvety texture. It's so, so fine in texture. You'll know if you've used it, you'll know if you've tried it. And it also does have special spheres in it that reflect light evenly, which also helps give that really beautiful airbrushed, poreless, perfect result. Now, in addition to that, it's loaded with six really awesome skincare ingredients to also help hydrate and nourish and protect and care for your skin while you are wearing it. So it's got vitamin A and vitamin E for the antioxidants, the hydrating and the nourishing factors of them. It's got sweet almond oil, aloe vera, coconut aminos, all for the hydration benefits for really deeply conditioning, smoothing the skin. And then lastly, it's got green tea extract and that helps to calm redness and irritation and just give you really like the most beautiful looking skin ever. It's also scented with natural vanilla and there are no artificial scents or fragrances in this. And it's completely translucent and invisible on the skin. So by far, like this is hands down my favorite setting powder. It's just amazing. It keeps my makeup in place so well. It controls shine and oil. It never looks cakey. It always looks perfect on the skin. I love this. I love this so, 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 so much. Easily, again, same as last year, major favorite for the year. It's the favorite of my life. <laughs> All right, next up I have a drugstore option for those of you who are looking for a drugstore option. I always like to provide, you know, a high-end and drugstore option for you guys. And still, you guys, as far as the drugstore is concerned, I still think that the Maybelline Loose Fit Me setting powder is absolutely the best setting powder that you can get at the drugstore. It is incredible. So really finely milled, really smoothing on the skin. I find that this really does help to control my oil and shine throughout the day. I will say that when you initially apply this one it can look the tiniest little bit powdery it can kind of look 
you know, like kind of dry on the skin. But then as soon as your natural oils start to come through, it does really loosen up and it starts to get more of like a natural glow about it. This one is a tinted powder, so it does have the slightest little bit of coverage to it. So you can actually wear it on your skin without any foundation if you want to go for like a really, really natural look or obviously use it on top of your foundation to set everything down. It's a mineral based formula. It's extremely lightweight on the skin. It looks beautiful throughout the day. It also looks beautiful if you wear it at night. Um, shade range is a little bit limited in this one, unfortunately, um, but because it's sort of more like flexible coverage and because it is so sheer on the skin, you can kind of get away with being in between shades and still being able to find something that matches you. I really would love to see Maybelline extend the shade range of this. That would be amazing. Um, but yeah, it's just a really beautiful soft powder. Definitely controls shine, definitely controls oil, and it will definitely keep your makeup in place um, as well as adding some coverage to the skin. All right, so next up I have three pressed powders and these are all powder foundations. So these can all be built up from medium to more of like a full coverage look. Very, very beautiful on the skin and wear all day really, really well. And the first one is the Born This Way. This is the Too Faced Born This Way uh, multi-use complexion powder. Basically, it is their powder foundation and it is glorious. This has been a favorite for a long time. It was in my uh, favorite powder foundations last year. It leaves such a beautiful, lightweight, glowy kind of finish on the skin. It never looks flat. It never looks like chalky, you know how sometimes powder foundations can give you like that chalky ashen kind of look. It always just looks beautiful and stunning on the skin. I find the formula to be really lightweight. I find that it doesn't get cakey. I find that it doesn't get heavy. And I can even do an entire like full coverage look with this and then throw it in my handbag and still touch up with it during the day, you know, without things caking up and going all gross. And you can definitely customize the coverage with this one as well. So if you want to just dust it on with a powder brush for a very natural, like barely there, kind of coverage look um, totally totally can but then you can also pack it on with a sponge it does come with a little sponge underneath but yeah you can pack it on with the sponge to like cover up all redness all darkness all capillaries all like discoloration everything on the skin this will cover it's absolutely amazing wears beautifully lasts all day you know 12 plus hours easily of wear out of this I do still always dust my skin without translucent powder even when I wear powder foundations because powder foundations do still get oily unfortunately Unfortunately, because they are powder based, that doesn't mean that they're going to actually control oil and control shine during the day. So I do always still set them down. So easy to touch up with on the go. Um, really, really awesome. Definitely one of my favorite, favorite powder foundations and my most used. All right, next up is definitely more a recent addition, but I have been blown away at how good the formula of this one is. It is the brand new Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. <sighs> So, so, so good. So I actually was lucky enough to receive this in PR before it launched back on Boxing Day. Um, and I, I have just been wearing it so much. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's got the most amazing finely milled kind of invisible feeling texture on the skin. You can get light to medium coverage with this one, but you can never really feel it and you can never really see it. It just makes you look really beautiful and perfect. And I have to tell you, like it looks nice when you first apply it, but then as the day goes on, as your oils come through, as it kind of melts into the skin, it just looks prettier and prettier and prettier. Um, I do find that I need to touch this one up at about the six hour mark. And then later on, if I want to continue wearing it for longer than 12 hours, but it's very, very easy because it's a pressed powder. I can just chuck it in my bag or, you know, Brandon's pocket, like whatever we're doing. Very easy to take it on the go and then quickly touch up. It touches up really, really well without getting cakey. It also doesn't transfer off during the day. So it's a really long wearing formula. You know, it's life proof. It's basically like a life proof powder foundation that's still really lightweight on the skin. Your skin can still breathe. It still feels like you're not really wearing any makeup but your face looks perfect. Like they've done such a good job on this formula. I am so happy to see that Fenty did a powder foundation and what makes this one even more amazing is it is available in all 50 of the Fenty foundation shades. So really, really inclusive and a shade for everyone. And it's just a oh, beautiful, beautiful formula. It's easily a favorite of 2020 and will continue to be a favorite of 2021. I love it. And then last but not least, I have this one by NARS. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation, and it actually has SPF coverage, which is really awesome. If you are wanting to reapply your SPF during the day, this is the way to go about it if you've got a full face of makeup. This is a really beautiful, lightweight, medium coverage foundation that just... 
oh, it's just so natural looking on the skin. So for me personally, I really like to use this with a large sort of fluffy brush. I like to blend it softly over the skin for like a really light, natural kind of a look. It leaves my skin, like you can still see my skin sort of showing through, but then it also just softly kind of perfects everything on top. It never looks cakey, it never breaks up, it never separates, it never gets like chunky on any areas where I reapply it and touch up during the day. You can use this one to get more of a full coverage, but for me, I just loved, and like I've, for 2020, and it'll be the same for you guys, you know, you've probably been at home, you've been in isolation or in quarantine. You haven't been, we all haven't been really wearing that much makeup. We haven't been going to dinners, we haven't been going to events, we haven't been going out, you know, for drinks with friends. And then obviously because of that, I haven't been wearing as much makeup and I've been sort of, you know, looking for things that are quick to apply that really look super natural on the skin, but still give me that added tiny little bit of coverage so that I still look healthy on like my Zoom meetings and on FaceTimes and things like that. Um, and so this one, like, I think that's why this one has been just so used and so loved for me this year. And I also really love the luminous factor to this one as well like it never leaves your skin looking flat or ashy or chalky or you know like you've caked on a powder foundation it's still got that sort of hint of a glow to it that satin finish like it still just looks really really natural I love it and I love that it's got SPF in it and it means that you can reapply SPF during the day like that's it's the age-old question how do I reapply my SPF when I've got a full face of makeup on use a powder foundation that's got SPF in it so there you go guys those are my top loose finishing powders translucent finish powders and powder foundations for 2020. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I would love it if you could let me know in the comments what your favorite powders and your favorite powder foundations were for the year. I'm actually really interested in discovering and trying more powder foundations out. I just bought some ones from Bare Minerals that were really recommended by you guys. I'm very excited. I'm probably going to test them out next week. I'm very excited to see how they go on my skin. They come very highly recommended. But if you've got a favorite powder foundation that you think is just amazing, Amazing and it's got great coverage and it's great for oily skin can you please let me know in the comments because I'd love to try it I want to do I want like more of a collection because I feel like I don't know I feel like my I've only dipped my toe into the water as far as powder foundation goes all right guys I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll catch you all in my next video bye